Large Marge Groove. Hello, Kiss fans. Welcome to It's All For You, Demon. Celebrating the fun of, of being a Kiss fan. And tonight, we're going to celebrate printed media. 1970s magazines and kind of the impact they would have had. Five minutes later. The impact they would have had on Kiss fans of the 70s. And what really spurred this entire conversation are the Grooves magazines. And the reason I wanted to talk about this tonight was my friend, Jerry Nibel, left a comment that the cream of the stapled crop of Kiss mags for him as a fan in 78 was the Grooves magazine. So I thought we would take a look at that tonight. I kind of have some nerd things I do with magazines. Would you want to sell any of them to me? Shit, no. I cherish these things. I use them a lot. That sounded very odd. I kind of have some nerd thinkings I think about with magazines. And so I thought tonight we would just talk 1970s magazines and how they are the best therapy in the world for a KISS fan. You just open up one of these and you transport yourself back in time away from all the garbage of today and celebrate KISS.
So to close out this episode, there's a Teen Talk magazine that my buddy David passed on to me and is extremely cool. Not a lot of kiss in this. This is mainly like your basic teen magazine, like a like a 16 magazine or teen beat. It's just pop culture, teen, movie, television, book type stuff. John Ritter, the sexy teddy bear of Three's Company. So there you go, my buddy Aaron. But the real reason I wanted to talk about this magazine, Teen Talk, is there is just this, the most super cool poster inside this magazine. And it has been loved. It is falling apart. But I absolutely love it. It is one of the coolest posters I think I've ever seen. To me, it just reeks of Phantom of the Park. It reeks of 1978 Summer. And the fact that it came out of a teen pop culture magazine just makes me know it was on some kid's bedroom wall. And they were enjoying life, you know, looking at this poster every day. And it's just a fun poster. It's vibrant. It's colorful. And I thought we would close the vlog by taking a look at the glory of the Teen Talk poster. And here it is, and this thing is absolutely falling apart. Just that Phantom of the Park vibe to this thing. Little Kiss logo down there. And just those fantastic Love Gun outfits. Ace especially looks totally badass in this. Very much that rock star smear of a attitude to his pose this just reeks of 1978 summer childhood bedroom wall kiss fan fun thank you for hanging with us tonight thank you for waxing a little rock and roll nostalgia talking the stapled glory of kiss magazines as my friend jerry knight will put it be good to your babies spay neuter microchip take yeah take care be safe we will talk to you soon <laughs>